Now how good can be a lazy columns whose items are not clickable? So in this part we will make the lazy columns items clickable. Now let's start with a small refactor. We will rename our function from lazy column demo to lazy column clickable demo. Okay, so what should we do next? We can directly make the text clickable, but that's not the best practice because we want all the row to be clickable and not just the area that is occupied by text. So a good option would be to create a surface and wrap everything inside that surface. So let's do that. Now we can make the surface clickable by creating a modifier. So let's do that. And import it. All right, and let's fix these curly braces here. All right, okay, so now, when clicking in our row, we should return something back to the color, which means that we should create a lambda so that we introduce some information back to whoever called the lazy column clickable demo. So let's do that here. So we create a selected person lambda, which we will return back. And as a type, it's going to be an integer because the iteration is an integer number between 0 to 199 and we will return a unit. Okay. Okay, looks good now. Now comes the time to utilize our clickable event. Here, as we said, we get an iteration number which is represented by it. Okay? Because it represents our current iteration. So this is what we should return in our clickable. And how we return it? Since we created the selected persons, that's what we are going to utilize. So we're, we are going to call selected person and we're going to pass it plus one. So that is the way to forward our iteration number from the surface through the uh, lambda back to the color. Here we can utilize that callback and for example, let's display a toast. Okay, so let's make a text and we're going to use uh, the activity as our context. And now we will display our message containing a person with the iteration number returned from our composable function, which is represented by it here, as you can see. All right, now, Let's uh, put the duration to be a uh, short duration, okay, length short, and let's just show our toast. So this is all the code to modify our uh, lazy column to make it uh, clickable. So let's see how this whole thing works. And it works. Now, if I click on person seven, I get my toast for person seven. If I click on 11, I get my toast for 11, and so on. So, all good. It seems that it's working fine. So, see you on the next one.